You right? said, oh, shit, I bet you could report her stream for ban evasion, actually. I don't care that you're reporting Keffels. That does, that's not a thing that bothers me. I'm just saying you're not consistent with what you're saying. Right? If you try to kill me in real life, if you try to, like, aggressively fucking destroy my shit, if you're doing stuff like that, if I see you, like, obviously and intentionally breaking, like, three different rules on a platform, I might direct my community towards it. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, so what's going on today, exactly? Um, I, I don't know. What do you mean? You well, you're the one that was tweeting at me. Well, well I want to be... I just want to get it all out here because I only saw the five-minute clip, and so I want to make sure... Like, what, what all has transpired today, I guess? I just saw a clip with you and Nick, and you, you were talking about deplatforming. My name was mentioned... Uh, as what that he was supporting me versus Medicare, so that means he's in fl in favor of deplatforming. I, I don't know the point that you're making exactly, but so there was a I time just, period when you and Medicare were in big fights, and I think you and I think Nick were supporting the idea of like flagging all these guys and any channel that you could. I don't know that that's the case. The main impetus of that was me filing a DMCA against Flamenco, which was an yeah, accurate. The, the DMCAs were to get channel shut down, right? Uh, it was to stop him from live streaming my show concurrently with, with like, sniping my stream. That's what it was for. It was, you fought the DMCA against me in 2018. Hold on. If you want, do you want to go through, like, all I the mean, clips of you guys talking about it? Because I don't think – because you're trying – now you're giving a very measured, like, well, there was just the idea that, like, I wanted to prevent somebody from stealing – that wasn't the case. You guys were all mad as fuck at each other, and you were trying to shut their shit down. I'm pretty sure I've watched clips of, like, Nick saying, like, yeah, let's flag all this stuff. Like, I don't like that, dude. Let's I mean, flag I him. have you in chat, like, a few weeks ago trying to flag Keffels. I mean, there's quotes of you – uh, telling your people, basically, suggesting that they should go flag. I mean, that was just, like, I don't know, 30 days ago. Sure. So do you want to compare Keffels to any other person on the Internet? Well, I'm just saying, like, I mean, is your position, like, strong or is it not? Because somebody is going to put slurs on the title of their stream that they're going to do uh, and my community's watching it, uh, I think that that's, like, a reportable thing on the Twitch TOS okay, well, or whatever. <laughs> Not very strong, then, Steve. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I mean, if if you're willing to bend and report here and not report there, and it's okay here and it's not okay there, then you basically just lost the argument. Okay, I'm not gonna have Nick on my stream anymore. Then, if that's what you think, do you think I should do that? Well, okay. I mean, I think you should, but I mean, no, no, no. I'm asking you. Do you think that so? Kevil's relation to me was. Kaffles is trying to get me banned from Twitch. She's constantly like spreading lies and doing like insane shit about me. She's has misrepresented anything so hard she's trying to get my Wikipedia vandalized. And then she goes live on Twitch about to do another slander stream that she bragged about getting me banned from and then has literal slurs like in her fucking title. And she's about to do things like I don't even know if I told people I don't know if I told people to report it or I just like it's obviously so fucking stupid what she's doing because she's breaking the TOS in like three different her stream for ban evasion actually if she's featuring too much of my stuff sounds like a good report reason pepe laugh sure like she literally has a whole fucking picture slurs on the stream and she's about to do a whole stream while i'm banned from twitch like it's it's there's like three different rules being broken there i don't care that you're reporting keffels that does that's not a thing that bothers me wait then what's what's your issue i'm just saying you're not consistent with what you're saying i don't give a fuck who you report Okay, I'll add this rule then, I guess, if I really have to, right? If you try to kill me in real life, if you try to, like, aggressively fucking destroy my shit, if you're doing stuff like that, if I see you, like, obviously and intentionally breaking, like, three different rules on a platform, I might direct my community towards it, maybe. That'd okay, be, well, you, guess, okay. Flamenco. you just described Kiwi Farms. You just, just described, you know. The, the videos that I, if you want to watch videos of that, and we can go over them on stream right now, if you want to do that. What I saw were videos of you guys, or maybe it might have just been Nick Fuentes, and like, oh, yeah, I don't like that dude. Flag all of his shit. Flag all of his shit. I've never told anybody to go mass report all of Keffel's stuff. I've never said, let's go through her YouTube channel and flag everything. Let's go through all of her blah, 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 and do that. Like, I was talking about that one Twitch stream, maybe some tweets that were like fucking bomb threats or whatever, but like the mass flagging campaigns are things that I don't think I really support or have support anymore. You know what? For Keffel's, though, I might, just because she's literally a fucking internet terrorist well, but it is I don't, and you don't have to justify it to me i understand they got you taken down off twitch we talked about it in dallas i completely understand why you would want that person gone like i mean you don't have to convince me of, of why it's justified i'm just saying yeah but you're uh, making tweets about how like oh well back in 2020 you were like pro deplatforming of nick or i think wasn't back then wasn't my stance related to misinformation 
I don't remember exactly, uh, but I remember you were on the show and somehow Nick getting banned or something or possibly getting banned came up and you were like, yeah, you know, I don't care. Right wingers should be banned, basically. That I said of- right wingers should be banned. But you this- said Nazis, I think, is what you said. Okay, actually. maybe Nazis. Um, <laughs> but I, I would have to go back and look. But like the, the, the well, thing I that's confusing, say, me, here's I mean, the issue. The issue is that like I can never trust what you guys say because you always misrepresent like fucking everything that I talk about. Because when you tell me that this happened in 2020, in 2019, I agreed to do a really public debate with Nick on Twitch. Like that only happened because I suggested and agreed to it. Like I could have shut that whole thing down and told Trent, this isn't a good idea. We shouldn't do it. So I don't know why I would agree to do that debate in 2019. And they Hold change on. in 2020 and say like, oh, like we th- this I support all deplatforming. The only thing that I was still kind of back and forth on in like 2020, probably up through 2021, was it was banning people that are like pro misinformation or whatever, like people that are blatantly lying about people. So like if you go on a stream, he's like, oh, that guy's a pedophile or a child rapist, or you just like blatantly lie about shit. I think that was generally what I was opposed to, but. But can't you see how this is not really like you're? No, it's you're, because you have like a, you're, you have like three brain cells. So in your mind, it's either like, oh, no, you have to be all for it or all it's against not, it. No, like, like I, mean, I, th- I think you can have like a more than yours. I guess the Ralph mail just uh, is too potent. I don't know what's happened, but like your position is not strong at all. I mean, it's no, it's not a strong like binary like all yes or all no position. Like I agree. Like if somebody was going online and they were about to stream themselves like going on like a school shooting, I think you should probably ban that. I'm not necessarily opposed to YouTube's ban on um, like live firearms. I can understand why they'd probably be opposed to that. I don't. I, I don't think it's like either free speech absolutism or communist totalitarian fucking regimes. Like. I'm just saying, man, you're, you're not really you're not really making any sense. You're kind of zigging and zagging, and it seems to be a selective enforcement uh, with the deplatforming stance here. Okay, besides like Keffels, can you think of anybody that I've like tried to deplatform in the past like one or two years? That you've actively tried to deplatform? No, but can you tell me who I've actively tried to deplatform besides people in the same category as Keffels that have so tried to destroy my-, my life, who've lied about the death of my mother? Mm-hmm. Miko himself sent somebody to infiltrate the event that you were at with me. Um, you know, my fucking. What was children. the big argument between Fuentes? What was the big argument between Fuentes and you and Medicare? Well, I mean, the Flamenco thing was part of it. The DMCA that I filed on Flamenco. Was it just uh, that one DMCA, or was it like? I only filed one DMCA against them, if I recall correctly. Anybody can correct me, but yeah, I believe it was just the one. And he had been restreaming my stream for quite some time. I don't know if you know the DMCA tenants, but uh, one of them is trying to affect somebody's bottom line, trying to hurt their business, trying to affect their live stream viewership. Those are all things that make for a viable DMCA. And again, I mentioned this on Twitter and I'm being a little smart ass, but you filed a DMCA against me in 2018. If you want to argue against stuff that I've said or done in like like five years ago, okay, you can do that. But like, record, man, I'm just saying you DMCA me, DMCA me literally. Sure, I'm sure I have, but again, like I'm not here to tell. Like I don't believe the same things now that I did five years ago. If you're the same person, that's fine. But I'm not here to like tell you that like like you're you're, you're yeah. I'm not here to defend. Like pro, pro, in 2018, I was probably pro deplatforming a lot more people. Than, I know than- you were. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. So for you to just now sit here and say, oh well, Nick said this about somebody or was in a fight here. Now I can't talk to him anymore. Well, what if people had said that about you in 2018? Or there probably were people that said that about me. <laughs> But back then, that was my position. But my position, my position doesn't change based on like who my friends are or who whatever is. Like these are just the positions I've had. I had one position five years ago. I've changed since then. I have like different views on like deplatforming. Now is that because you've been deplatformed since then, or? Um, I think I'd even been. Had, didn't, wasn't my Twitter account already banned then? I think so, maybe. Yeah. But my stance on deplatforming changed before I got banned from Twitch. Wasn't I already talking with? Um, fuck, I don't remember when I got banned from Twitch. Wasn't I already talking a little bit with like Nick and Lauren before I got banned? I don't think so. It was right around the time of the Kingpin. So it was like maybe late March or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe. You might have done one stream. I think maybe there was a politically provoked or something. I don't recall exactly. Oh, but. fuck. And even my DMC on you, I think, was related for misinformation. You said I was fucking under investigation for child porn. Well, you said the FBI came to your house. That's not what under investigation means. That would be well, like I'm, you getting swatted and well, me saying the FBI is investigating well, you for making terrorist you know, threats. Maybe you took a little bit of a liberty <laughs> with the title there, but you're the one who said the FBI came by your house. I but mean, yeah, if, so, if the police came by your house, would you say you were under investigation by the local police? I mean, if I was trying to make a sensational headline, that's probably what I would say, yeah. 
Um, I mean, it was a tabloid headline, but I mean, the FBI did come by your house. You're the one who said that. Like, I, do, you, do you not know what under investigation means? I, look, I'm not quit, look, I'm not here to argue about whether sure, you're I'm not. Really... I'm just trying to, okay, because you brought up that I quote unquote DMCA'd you yeah. and you made it sound like it was just because I hated her, but I, I understand no, more I about what was going on. Oh. No, you made it sound like that. I never said that. I never said it was because you hated me. I'm just saying you've employed the DMCA when you felt it was necessary. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. I'm so I'm okay, wait, I'm sorry. Okay. So right? my current right? position, I, I, I didn't even listen to you. I was reading your article. Sorry, say that one more time. I'm sorry. My bad. I, I said you employ the DMCA when you feel it's necessary. And so I have I. in the past, but I haven't recently. The only buddy, <laughs> the only person I considered recently was fucking Keffels. But like, I haven't DMCA'd anybody. I think the last set of, I did, I think was around, it was either you or Sargon after JonTron, which was like four or five years ago. So you, you disavowed DMCA? Uh, generally, yeah. I disavow all my stances on deplatforming that are like older than two or three That's years. That's not deplatforming, Destiny. DMCA is not, not a deplatform. DMCA is deplatforming. You are not just allowed to take your content if you don't allow them. It's the law. When, I don't when, know. When we means. wield DMCA, it's for purposes of deplatforming. Of course it is. I don't agree with that. What, you just let everybody steal your shit 24 7? Is that how it's going to be? I don't, I don't know. If I was restreaming and commenting on your stuff, would you DMCA me? Well, no. Because we're chill. That's right. So DMCA, right. yeah, but you're not DMCAing Flamenco. You're, hold on. You're not DMCAing Flamenco because you're genuinely threatened that he's like... Uh, no, like in you're, 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 Go ahead. Yeah, you're doing it because you fucking hate him. <laughs> well, because he was trying to affect my bottom line. He was actually trying to suck viewers from my show and said that live on his air, that the, uh, on his airwaves. That's one of the tenets of a DMCA. I understand by law what you're saying. I'm just yes. saying that the purposes of it are to deplatform somebody. It's just I wasn't trying to take his channel down altogether. I was trying to dissuade him from streaming my shit without my permission, which I seemingly have done. But, you know, I mean that's not the same thing. I don't I don't feel like that's the, a one to one right there. Okay. Well, I mean we can disagree on that, but that's how I would feel. Like if I were to just start going through okay. a DM saying everybody commenting on my stream that I didn't like cuz they had my stream in the background. That's not what, that's not what happened. He was literally just restreaming my entire stream, set up to go when it would start, set up to end when it would end. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't just he was flipping over and tuning in. Wait, into he my... had like an AFK channel like just restreaming your shit or was he, was he talking there on... He was there. But what I'm saying is it was for the express purpose of harming my business, taking my viewers away, hitting my money. And he said this on air. And by the way, these same people, his fans, I, you know, I can't pin him out directly, but they have reported me. They have tried to get me kicked off payment processors, all these Kiwi Farms motherfuckers, all these people. So for them to sit here and talk about deplatforming and to make that like a wine worthy issue, it's like, well, that's their whole ball game. Uh, you just barely throw a punch to kind of, you know, keep them from bowling you over and now all of a sudden you're Mr. D platforming. I don't think that that's fair. Um, I, I would have to dig more into your specific back and forths. Okay. If you're telling me that Flamenco himself was like involved in like trying to like get you blacklisted from credit card processors or doing shit like that, then I'm like a little bit more sympathetic. Sure. Um, are you telling me that that's what Flamenco was personally involved in? Their whole push. I can't, you know, I don't have the smoking gun to say he was personally doing that or his DMs or his. I have no doubt that he probably was, but, you know, I don't have the, the smoking gun. But what I'm saying is that's what their whole push is, right? Like that's the whole that's the whole impetus. They've been trying to shut me down for years. Like, I mean, it's literally if you go to Kiwi Farms, there's post after post of people trying to take me out, trying to find my house trying to hunt me down on on vacation i mean it's it's insane and this is the audience he was catering to explicitly and that's what he was doing with his streams to try to to harm my streams so like oh, fuck. I, I wish i had um 
Uh, if we wanted to set up a panelist, we could, but I've got like 30 people DMing me telling me that you're like, you're misrepresenting literally all of this. And people in my chat are spamming that like, this isn't well, at all what's happening. You want one. I don't have any. Well, I know, but like the facts of the matter here are going to be like pretty particular because if like Flamenco himself is like calling and trying to get you blacklisted from credit card people and is doing this shit and then you're like, fuck you, I'm DM DMCAing him. Like I'd say like, it's pretty shitty when we throw on like the deep platform shit, but like if he's doing all that, then I don't give a fuck at that point. If you're trying to DMCA, I'm like fucking go for it, dude. Who the fuck cares? That would be like a, like a Keffels to me. Like Jesus, like I'm I'm not gonna say to defend that person or whatever. But um, if but if these are all lies and you're just like, oh, well, I'm gonna try to get this guy banned because they don't like me. I think that's a fundamentally different type of thing. But well, that's the facts of the matter. What? Because if I was, I would have filed like 30 DMCA's on his whole fucking channel. Like, I mean, that's not what I did. I filed a very specific one. Okay, sure. I just your original okay. tweet about me was that I personally well, advocated deplatforming right wingers in 2020. I don't think I, mean, I, I don't. I think I said in 2020. I think my stance was related to people that intentionally spread misinformation. I don't think it was okay. right wingers well, or hate speech or anything like that. That's a little. Uh, and it's not meant as an insult. It's just a description. A little weaselly, right? Like because that's like okay, well, a misinformation. Well, I mean, that's a pretty broad category, and it's also in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, right? I literally said as much. So back then, I would say that like I think like deplatforming specific cases of misinformation, I think I'm okay with. But I understand that that's a really difficult thing to do, obviously because different people disagree on what misinformation is, and that's why eventually I rolled over on that position completely. And that's why today I'm like, ah, eh, fuck it. Even for misinformation, I don't know if you can deplatform it, like because it seems like everything is so contentious about what is real or what isn't real these days. So it ends up being really politically biased. But that's like, you're, you're tracing like the evolution of that thought over time. But regardless, there, when you say deplatform right-wingers, it gives a very specific connotation of like, he just wanted to get rid of like hate speech or conservatives or whatever. But that's never been the case. And I fought a ton with left-leaning people that propagate misinformation too, over Kyle Rittenhouse, over Brianna Taylor, over the BLM stuff. Like I, like I fight with left-wingers about misinformation almost as much or more over the past two or three years as I have with right-wingers. I know for a fact you specifically were talking about taking out Nazis, quote unquote, on my show. Now, I'm not saying it might have been uh, in that specific instance because we were talking to Fuentes. But like you agree that I fought a ton of left wing sure, misinformation. Man, change your mind. That's not what I'm saying. Right. Like I completely accept that. All I'm saying is these things happened. You still don't really have that strong of a position on it to this day, um, in my opinion. Sure, and because it's still it's a really like i don't know I, I didn't see the whole conversation earlier sure. so i don't it's know it's a really ch it's a really challenging topic right it's a there's a lot of stuff so, to get into related to it um and i probably don't have the most powerful ironed out position on it but today based on my actions and not like clips or tweets it's pretty obvious that my positions on platforming have significantly changed where i'm hosting conversations multiple conversations with lauren southern where i'm hosting multiple conversations and real life events with nick fuentes like it's pretty obvious that my positions have changed and evolved really substantially over this but then when you're like oh well you've done all this but what about this thing you said in 2020 it's like what the fuck is the point of even bringing that up well, like I came in hot because i just felt like this is kind of just what I call it, lame. I think that's what I said on Twitter. It's like, what? Why are you? Why would you stop talking to Nick? Like, I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Well, the issue that I had, the scary thing was that I started to associate with his community, and then I got into a big disagreement with one of my friends over how to associate that with that community. And then I saw that that community go hard on my friend, and it looks like they did like spam reporting shit to get his shit taken down. So if that's the case, like that represents like a pretty big conflict of interest for me. Do you agree? Like that's a pretty big deal. Well, I could see that causing, you know, I could see Mr. Girl being pissed or, or whatever. Fuck, I'm not talking about Mr. Girl, even just me. Like, what if what if I what if I had another stream with another friend and they got taken out by the Groypers? Like, are they going to start holding my really friendship? Taken out by the Groypers because this guy has, has like songs to pedophilia, odes to pedophilia on his channel. Yeah, but they've been on his channel for like two or three years. A lot of people hate this guy, dude. Like, I mean, no, no, literally. No, no, come on. They've been on his channel for years, and he just got spam reported when he started to have big conversations with me about the Groypers. And the Greppers are all watching his videos on their channels. I can see that. Like, it's pretty obvious what's happening, right? Yeah, but there's a lot. He's been taken down before. There's a lot of people who do not like him. He's universally reviled as a pedophile in my audience and in most corners of the internet, except for your audience, basically. Uh, and so it's like, um, I mean, could it have been? Yeah, I don't know. But it's like, well, it could have also been a lot of different other things. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna go by. Come on, why are you treating me like a retard? We both know how this I'm works. Not, right? I'm just being honest. Like, I mean, he literally is kind of reviled. If you, if you got into a huge fight with a big community, and the next day all of your shit was like reported and banned, would you be like, "Oh man, I wonder if Medicur did that," or "I wonder if someone like..." No, you'd be like, "Oh shit, is the community I just fought with obviously spam reporting my shit?" We all know that's how that works, right? 
It could be. I don't know. I don't know the whole ins and outs of that. Sure. I don't even, I'm not asking for what probablistically. Yeah. Probably like right. pretty likely that it was the community that was just watching all I'm your just shit. Saying, this, this guy's like, first off, he could have just taken down those videos. Would probably would have been the smart thing. Um, if Wait, why? Not. Why would why would he take down videos that have been on YouTube for like two or three years? Yeah, but it's like, okay, I, I'll, I'll tell you uh, my little story about Mr. Girl. Sure. Uh, he he came onto my show and we and we got along pretty good and set up some debates and then he started getting a big head. And he literally told me in my DMs that he had too big of an audience now and he didn't need the kill stream anymore and he didn't need this and that literally like the biggest ego I think I've ever seen out of anybody. Did online. he actually say this? I don't need yes, your audience he anymore. He literally said this. Yeah, I'm not kidding. No, he literally said this. He's like, my audience is too big now and uh, I can't put it at risk. I'll have to go back and quote it. I can send you the screen caps if you'd like. Okay. If you're uh, saying like, I can't put it at risk, that sounds like a different type of conversation than just. Uh, you know what? I can just read it off if you want. But yeah, it was like a big headed, like, I don't need the kill stream now i can't put my audience i can't put my stuff at risk or he did mention that okay. uh but it's like uh okay well you know what puts your fucking audience at risk put your operation at risk your fucking songs to pedophilia on your channel maybe you should have taken those down that would have been a good way to maybe protect things instead of worrying about showing up on the kill stream uh it's just well, like I mean, those these, are, these videos have like there, these videos right? have like, like millions of views like all together and they've been up for years why would he just start preemptively taking them down well, I don't know. I'm just saying I would have definitely considered that. I'm not saying that that's like I'm not victim blaming, but I'm also saying like if you're smart, uh, maybe, you know, he claimed he was this big guy and he'd got all this publicity and now he was big man on campus. It's like, well, OK, well, do you even need those anymore? Maybe you could just put those at least unlist them or or be smart about it. Um, it just seemed not that bright, if you'd ask me. OK. And I can find the, by the way, let me see if I can find, because I don't want to. People in my chat are saying that Max did say something like that. So it might be the case. He that he did. Said That's that. what I'm saying. Like, I'm not making it up. No, he literally said that. Yeah. He didn't need the kill stream anymore. And, da, 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 da. and it's like, okay, well, fine. And then he tried to big dog me on my own show and I kicked him off the air. Uh, but yeah, and the reason why is because we had already had an argument in DS where he's like, I'm, I'm bigger than the kill stream. And, da, da, da. and it's like, okay, well, you may be, but like, we still have certain you know rules and decorum on the show uh i've never seen you do that you've been on the show a million times mm -hmm. uh and even when you're getting ready to leave versus alex stein you you didn't just leave or you didn't just raise a you know a super fuss you're like okay i'm done. you know this is over let's let's get the last call in or, or whatever uh whereas he took a completely different uh mindset and so if you're asking me if i have a lot of sympathy for this guy i don't really he's kind of a fucking asshole um uh, but you know I'm not saying it's good that it happened, but it's like this guy's a fucking prick. Some people uh, are saying, I'm getting this, I'm just reading the different messages so I can see, get a full view of what's going on. Some people are saying that part of the reason why he was scared about going back on the stream and he was mentioning how big he was getting was because um, a lot of people were donating like racial slurs and trying to come on and say like slurs and shit on his stream or anti-Semitic remarks. Was that true or? So there was one stream where that, there was a couple issues where he didn't want a super chat being played or he was worried about getting banned. And then on the Richard Spencer stream, we had like, it was like, I don't know, a two hour debate uh, or discussion or whatever. Uh, and then I can't remember. I had agreed not to play super chats over the air, which is, you know, me making a concession. Uh, and I forget what it was. I don't know if it was a, a question or, or no, it was a caller. It was callers. Cause I didn't agree not to have callers. Um, so there were like one or two callers and they were hostile, obviously, because people, I mean, they don't like this guy. I don't know what to say. And so then he got pissy and said, oh, I don't need this. And he'd already gotten what he wanted. He'd already gotten the discussion with Richard Spencer. And so now he's just going to leave. It's like, well, okay, I set up this debate. This is part of my show. You agreed to do it. You got what you wanted. And now you're just leaving. Like, I mean, I don't respect that. So, uh, that's how we had the falling out. But, uh, Again, I don't want him to lose his channel, but I, can't, I did laugh a little bit because I was like, well, this guy's a complete prick to me. Uh, and so, I don't know. It didn't break my heart, but he's an asshole. Okay. Um, anyway, I don't think you should. I don't think I, I like the stuff you've done with Nick. Of course, I'm biased. It is what it is, but I don't, I don't see this as a is a reason to like not talk to anybody or, or something like that. I don't know what all was said earlier, by the way, or what decision you came to or, or whatever. I, like I just jumped in after hearing my name in a clip. Uh, so that's, that's my whole point of reference there. Okay. That's cool. 
All right. Well, I appreciate it. Have fun. Be well, careful. Thank, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Where are you at now? Uh, I'm in parts unknown. <laughs> I won't say that uh, because like these farms can have to find me if you want to know the truth about it so they can swap me and send fuckers to my house and fuck with my truck and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm not telling people where I'm at. So that's another one of those things that I was talking about earlier. The great Kiwi Farms. Mm -hmm. Uh, those great defenders of free speech who deserve every defense uh, are Man. trying to fuck up my life on the daily. So, Are you Team Keffels uh, now? Is she your favorite person? She got him taken down. <laughs> uh, I won't say my favorite person. I definitely uh, laughed about uh, what Keffels did to Kiwi Farms, though, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, hey, listen. Stay safe, buddy. Thank you, man. You stay safe, too. I think it was a good conversation. I appreciate yeah. you having me on. I love you. Have fun. Peace out. You too, brother.